Hey, welcome back. Let's build some of the new, well, by let's, I mean me, and you guys can join in by watching. This is like, I've got some of the new Harry Potter sets, but this one's the one that caught my attention the most. I don't know why, just, I mean, the architecture on the outside looks fantastic. I mean, it's still the same style as the other, like, Chamber of Secrets ones, but it's more intricate, kind of. And inside Dumbledore's office is lots of interesting stuff. So this one looks really fun. So this is 654 pieces. It's $130 in Australia, $80 in the US. And <laughs> every time I look at the prices, it just blanch a little bit. But you know, I try and get them from Kmart because they're always cheaper here in Australia there. If you can get them there, just don't buy all the stock before I get there. So there are five bags. Uh, we've got everything we need. You got a sheet of stickers that looks like the, is the yeah, uh, the, the gargoyle sticker on there. Yeah, instructions. Right, let's do this. So I've got all of the minifigures out first so we can have a look at them straight up at the beginning. Uh, the first one we're looking at is Dumbledore because it's his office. So I think that's only fair, right? He's wearing, I am pretty sure, but don't quote me because I didn't look this up. I'm pretty sure that this is a brand new print for him for his robes. It's got a couple of different face choices. You can't tell <laughs> which one he's really got happening once you put it behind the beard. But let's put his head on and his hair on and Dumbledore is ready to have an office created for him. He needs his magic making stick as well and I've got so many of these now that I don't even take them off the sprue. <laughs> I just give him one that's already pre- pre-removed, pre-flicked off, because you can actually use the ones on the sprue to make fencing and stuff like that. So I'm gonna, I'm saving them up for that. Anyway, that was by the by. We've also got uh, Harry in, oh, in the school uniform we've seen a lot, but this, this little box holds the invisibility cloak, a new version of it, and it's so much better than the old version. We've got the holographic side, and the other side's got fantastic print on it, and it's even flocked, like it's nice and soft, little soft furry flocking. So if we put it like this now, he's invisible. Cannot see him, he's gone. Where did Harry go? Uh, he needs his hair though, and his head's sticking out the top, so, I mean, now he's just a floating head. But he is supposed to have a wand. I'm not giving it to him at the moment, because he can't look after it anyway but he does have a lamp which he can actually hide underneath the cloak because it is that big I mean the lamp is that big but his cloak is also that big so it's nice yeah voluminous cloak cloak <laughs> what are my words look at that it's sticking out so we'd have to hide that under it so yeah I love this new version of the uh, invisibility cloak now there are six minifigures so we're we're getting through them next up we've got Filch and just I don't know whether I have Filch already but I think this is a new print for him I mean Filch is yeah I do think I have Filch but I don't think he's looked like this before this is fantastic it's got his balding head thing with the side bits and he's got Mrs. Norris. I love, I just, I just love having all of the cats, especially the angry ones like Mrs. Norris. <laughs> what does it say about me that I like the angry cats? It's a bit concerning. And Snape, of course, I mean, does he have any other outfit? I, he just always looks the same. So we have Snape because he's important to this part of the storyline when Harry's sneaking around the halls in his invisibility cloak. And also got Hermione, I think she's just making up the female numbers here. So she, I mean, she's important to the story, but we're trying to get some more females in here. So we got Hermione. She looks just like she has in quite a few other sets in her Gryffindor uniform. And oh, this is making up female numbers. This is Madame Pince, who I couldn't remember who on earth this was. So she's the, the librarian, right? Like Pince-nez glasses. It's really nice to see just another random witch, a female witch, but her hat is like on point, like literally on point. It's quite, it's got points on all sides. It's awesome. It's like a new hat mold and got a place for a black feather out the front. Fantastic. Hat with hair. Witch's hat with hair and added feather. I love it. I think I would have got this just for the hat. <laughs> That's concerning. Okay, we've got our six minifigures. Let's have a look at what the office is going to entail. So lots and lots of building to make the actual, well, building itself. And this is once again in the same style, same colour scheme, everything else as all the other Hogwarts builds. Where am I going with this? The ones that are designed to go onto the castle, onto Hogwarts Castle. So they're all the same colours and they've all got a similar facade, but they're just getting mixed up here and there to make it not so boring to build, I think. But I love the fact that you can add on to the whole castle. So we're just keeping on adding. Okay, so this is, we've got a nice big tall bit of windows. This goes at the back and that's the back of his chair, of Dumbledore's chair. This is the other curved wall. No, let's see that one. <laughs> that one's not supposed to have the sticker of the brickwork on it. So we're just 
just put that back till we actually need it. Some arches, making, I mean, it just makes it, this is more interesting. This is, this is a lot more interesting castle build wise. <laughs> is that what we would say? Than, than recent ones that I've done. So that's, this is cool. Now, I don't know what the bits and bobs are back here next to his chair, but they're probably important, but I can't remember what they are. And to put his desk on, we have a rounded over dais. So a raised platform in the middle. That looks really cool. And oh, I forgot the Charlotte Frog card. So with Serafina Pickery, which I've already got. Nothing else that we have there that we shouldn't have. And we're up to bag number two because we're flying through the actual building part. And this is the bag that Filch comes in and he's got a lantern. He's got a lantern. Harry's got a lantern. Everybody's got a lantern. No, they don't. Just, it's just those two. So they are lanterned up, ready to roam the halls at night. And we've got the majority of the wall structure on here now. Just need to build up the next level to get it all to height. And now back to the furniture on the inside. And this is so cool. I'm going to be using this technique as, as many as whenever I need to put a bookcase that's like nice and flat, but really, really secure as a background. Not, not anything you can actually get books out of, but it just looks fantastic. So this is obviously a bookcase because that's what I've been <laughs> saying. So that just plugs into the wall on the side. And we have one for the other side, which is the same design, but it is a different color scheme. So that's really cool. So these go in here. We've got forward facing studs to attach the little rounded bits to make the rounded spines of the books. And that one plugs in on that side. Isn't that cool? I'm going so, to totally utilize that. I just like lots of different ways to make bookcases. And for his desk, that was a little bit excitable, but for his desk, we've got a sticker on the front and he's got a letter on there and his ink pot and the lamp and a feather for writing stuff, a quill. Cool. Let's, let's find Dumbledore. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> he can write with his wand. He probably can't. Uh, he probably shouldn't. He possibly can, but he really shouldn't. And on this little stand is like baby forks. I love the fact we've got this bird now in vibrant red. So this is reincarnated forks. <laughs> Just love that because we've got the bigger version and on this little stand on this side We've got the sorting hat and I just don't think there's any room to put anything else in here So next level up is where we're gonna get some more important Dumbledore stuff Dumbledore story stuff So we've got the smoothed over bits to put the next floor on which is poppable off and these are little side little side sections so you can switch because these are all designed to be switcherooned around okay this is what we got at the end of this bag and we're up to bag number three we're gonna see what's on the next level and this is the bag that professor snape comes in and he gets a wand uh, so we'll give him his black wand so he can make some light oh i don't think i have newt mm, that's cool all right it's nice to have yeah, some chocolate frog cards that I don't already have. I don't even collect all of the Harry Potter sets, but I have somehow I've managed to accumulate quite a few chocolate frog cards. So this is where the other brick sticker was supposed to go on up here on the next level, getting a nice rounded backdrop happening here. It's like a little alcove. There's, uh, there's so much, so much wall building, but there's not a lot of actual stuff in this room. So we've got a pensive. This is the pensive. I like the uh, the opalescent blue bit on the top of that. I mean, you can immediately tell what that is supposed to be. But that is it for this room. That is all that we have room for in this room. <laughs> I said room too many times. All the rest of this building here is to just put the walls on. It just seems like a waste of space. It's a whole room just for the pensive and nothing else. Like I like myself some interesting castle facade building and textures and stuff, but just these need more stuff in them anyway this is oh speaking of more stuff this is the next level up so this is where the sword of gryffindor is stored once again this is all that is in this room apart from a couple of candles so let's get all of this architecture on and see so the tower tower bit on the top sand green just looks so nice with the tan and the hogwarts hogwarts the hogwarts crest on that sticker on the front and that really interesting topper there for the spire with a cog turny thing very cool and interesting and these are just some ran more random little mismatched spires that just stick off to one side and you see them all over the all over Hogwarts Castle, which is so awesome. So this goes up here. Look at how cool the outside facade is of this. Like the external castle walls are really interesting. Some of the previous builds that I've had before have been really dull. And these, they're really good. The inside is 
less interesting than the outside. We're up to bag number four. And I, I would wonder what else you can add here because it's supposed to be Dumbledore's office, but we actually have a whole library floor. So that is why Madame Pince is here. She has now got her wand and now we get to build her a library. Oh, the Hogwarts library. <gasps> this is cool. We don't have enough Lego libraries. Why don't we have Lego libraries? What do you have against libraries, Lego? I'm having trouble saying all this now, so I need to stop. But this is our external facade for the library floor. And just love the fact that we've got some, some branches and slime maybe, <laughs> I don't know, worked into the architecture. A nice big table to do your homework on or to study on. It's really awesome. And oh, we're gonna have foldable out floors. Ooh, like we did in the hospital wing. That's very clever. I like that. So it's a library, so we need more bookshelves. And this is going together in a similar way to the ones up in Dumbledore's, yeah, Dumbledore's office, except they're smaller, but it's the same style, same idea. And these are going to then, so they're sitting on top of the table, which is not actually a table. It's the bottom part of the library bookcase. <laughs> that was tricky to say. And this part, why was that hard to say? My goodness me. Okay, so, oh, nice. What is this a book of? I don't think I want to know. And this is actually designed to be pushed out and flipped open so it can be magicked out or just fly off the shelves all on its own. And that's why we have these greenery woodworky bits on the outside because they're the pushy pulley part for the books. Ooh, this is good. I don't know what this book is either. So we got two flying books, one in black and one in brown. Oh, I like that. I like that we've got some different Hogwarts spell books that can fly off the shelves. That's really clever. That's super duper clever. I really like that design. Okay, so a couple of yeah, we want, we're just one big major bookshelf down here in the library. So it's not really a library, it's a bookshelf. It's a it's a part of the library. So we'll put Madame Pince in here and she can be in charge of these books, <laughs> ruly books. And this is what we have at the end of this bag, which is perfect. And then we've got bag number five. So we get to finish up this library floor. This is the bag that Hermione came in. She needs her wand so she can also be in charge of the books. I mean, if she's in charge of books, she's going to have the happy face, right? There we go. Let's put her in here. Magic in the bookshelves. That is, this <laughs> might be, you know, low key, the best part of this build is the magical bookshelf. Oh, and a chocolate frog card. I don't think I have Bertie Bots. <gasps> nice. I'm pretty sure I don't have him. I'm going to have to check. That's, that's cool. All right. So windows going in, nice big archie bits going in, working on the ex journal part it's flying bookshelves <laughs> love the flying bookshelves uh, got some study tables in either corner and we need some lamps on them so two of the same lamps made on gold taps which is cool just like the one in Dumbledore's library had that little tap bit and there's a just a token chocolate frog on the table and these triangles are designed to flip open so you can expand the library and the whole play area downstairs I just love that design. I think that's really, really cool. That was part, I've already mentioned it, but that was really part of what I enjoyed about the hospital wing as well, because you could flip it open. Oh, okay, so this is, so this is the, yeah, the gargoyle. So we don't have the statue. We've got a sticker of the statue, which is where the, where the winding staircase would be behind. So we've got a nod to it, but not an actual buildable gargoyle statue, which is a shame, but you can't have everything. Can't fit everything into these builds. <laughs> I would try, but I don't think I would succeed. It would look really cluttered. Uh, the ones, the rooms upstairs could do with more stuff in them though. But this one down here is looking pretty good. You need a bit of space in the library. So these interesting little concoctions, which are like hinges, but they're supposed to be tables. So they're tables that you can tip if you want to. Magical, dangerous tables. So we need the smooth bits and the jumper studs on the top here to be able to attach the next level. These little arch bits are going to fill up the spaces. And now, oh yeah, okay, we've got some, oh yeah, just the little bits on the side. So even though those bottom bits are designed to flip open, it's not going to dislodge anything up the top. You can have, you can have all of this attached and still flip the bottom sides open up. I love this design. And even though I, I really like Dumbledore's office, the top two floors I could do without, though they're really interesting on the outside. I mean, look at them. That's really cool. <laughs> that is really cool. And yeah, the library is Schmicko I love. <laughs> I 
am I? <laughs> I love the library. I really do. So there is a lot of story to be told in this set alone. Tell me what you think. Is this something that you're going to add to your Chamber of Secrets or your big Hogwarts conglomeration? Or would you buy it as a standalone set? Let me know in the comments. I'm interested to know what your thoughts are on these sets. Yeah, I'll be back with another video soon. So check back in and I'll see you then. <laughs> Bye.